So, I don't know. Taking so taking choose your battles. He really looks like Goku. Shit, I can't believe I'm already up to a Tree of Might in the first part. Damn. All right, okay. time for a Tree of Goku, Tree of Might. Turles is a Saiyan. My God. Try to destroy the Earth using the Tree of Might, which will suck the energy from the planet. Tree of Might's definitely one of my more favorite movies. Will be able to save the Earth and return the peace. Return the peace. That's a girl log on quote for you. Return the peace. The only real thing I don't really like I don't like much about Tree of Might is because it looks like they were literally just looking for an excuse to have a Saiyan fight Goku who looked just like him. Kakarot. I don't I don't know if there's an actual relationship relation between these two or if that hairstyle is just common amongst Saiyans. I don't know. All to be fair, if you remove the hair, he looks nothing like Goku. Except for the face structure, maybe. Damn, I should really look into if they actually just ripped Goku's model for Turles. Fun fact, Turles' armor is my favorite armor amongst the Saiyans. Besides Bardox. Bardox is pretty chill. Alright. Yeah, I can actually make, it, make him flinch at least. That ah, actually gone for two of those. Two heavy finishes. Ah, I almost got the lift. Damn it. I don't like how he has a ki the flying kicks right at the end of his combo. That's really jarring. Like, I'm used to that, that being like a rolling hammer or... Uh, I can't believe I hit. Hm. Like, I'm used to the last, like, square, 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 triangle. That combo being either a heavy finish or a rolling hammer. Having it being flying kicks is just really jarring. <laughs> I like how the energy ball doesn't make any sound whatsoever. Alright. Damn it. Probably trust button after it did that. Wait, wait, wait. Throw. I had to get my bearings for a second there. Spirit bomb! There we go. We're about to transition to the next part of the fight? Yeah, we are. That's probably the least damaging amongst the spirit bombs I've ever seen. Which you just used! I really have no comment for Tree of Might outside of uh, Turles himself, who is actually kind of a really cool villain. Uh, all the things that draw breath. You're being incredibly vague, dear sir. Uh. You want to keep zooming in there, friend? There we go. I thought we were going to do that, zo that zooming effect from uh, Kung Pao. It, it's so warm. Who's getting energy from the Tree of Might? There's a loophole for you. Warm. Wait, we gonna use a spirit bomb? We gonna use a spirit bomb? Kakarot. Nope, no spirit bomb. Oh, now he's bombs. back at fucking full health. By this point, he's already eaten fruit from the Tree of Might, which is actually a power that he can use, I think. Should be. I don't think I've ever known a former turtle that hasn't used the fruit of Tree of Might as a move. But yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, do, I do still like the Ocean Nubs for this movie, though. Actually, it's honestly funny. I learned this a while ago. There was an animated uh, Mega Man series that... It, that was also produced by but Ocean Dub. Fucking A. Mega Man is, was voiced by uh, the guy who did the voice for Goku in the Ocean Dub. So I, um, when I watched Red Supreme do a Let's Riff of, of uh, the Mega Man series, I was like, is that Goku? I swear to God, it sounds like Goku's Ocean voice. And charge. Oh, come on. Yes! That's a very nice. Here it comes. I think Goku should be wearing the Namek outfit for this. Uh, no, not the Namek outfit. The King Kai one. And gone. Ouch. <laughs> Looks like I won. Thanks, everyone. And everything ever that gave me this, the tree of uh, spirit bomb, which was mostly a tree of might. 
Yeah, Tree of Might was a weird movie. Not nearly as strange as World's Strongest from what I remember. To be fair though, I think it did have the most... Uh... Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I think it had the most unique plot. Now I realize, oh wait, no, everything Turles did, Lord Slug basically did as well. Shit. Ow. Who else has a story like that? Can't just show up to Earth, did some crazy slug. shit, and slug. Goku had to go in and do stuff. To dominate the universe appears on Earth when it looked like everyone would be crushed by Slug's brutal. Strength. Nah, I think that was the only Goku's time. Goku's unknown Saiyan powers are released. Goku's unknown self. Ah, man. So I just recently found this mod for uh, Goku trying to fall Super Saiyan. I swear to God, it looks like the coolest damn thing ever. He actually, uh, the guy who did that, I really want to get the mod. I want to know how to run that. He actually managed to get uh, Goku's effects in there. I think he. He just did over the Goku Slug. made out uh, model. I'll give you one chance to leave this planet in peace. I love this song. I think this song's. What is this song's name? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, it's the only song for the soundtrack I really enjoy, and I don't know the name. Great. So, yeah. Lord Slug here is, ba is a dude who came to. is a super Namek who came to Earth in search of. Wait, no, he was he wasn't originally in search of the, dra of the Dragon Balls. About to oh shit, he hit his finger beam. Sweet. Uh, so, yeah, so this old fucker here. Once you find out about the Dragon Balls, he was. I think he just came to Earth for, gen for like the usual old conquest bit. But then he found out about the Dragon Balls, so he hit, then he became young and he was a super Namek and he got banned from, Na from Namek originally. Yeah, I don't know. There's really not much information given about Lord Slug himself, even though he has at least more characterization than Turles does. And I think are the wheels too. Don't quote me on that though. There we go. Damn, I'm just ripping people up today with uh, early Goku. I should really draw some more time into using him. Seeing the spear bomb here is awesome! Come on, buddy. You want to say what? You want to say anything else? Damn it. Okay, I was figuring out earlier how to actually extend my combos after I launched them. I didn't know you can actually homing at attack after them more than once depending on the character. Alright. Ah, I was going for a grab, but I kept getting this way. Is the fight about to progress? I think so. Wait, what else is happening? Oh, I have KO Cannon. I should be using that. Alright. I'm not sure. Trying to hit R3, but I'm not able to do it. Now, let's put an end to this. Don't worry, that helmet is not part of his head. I won't. At least I'm gonna try not to. Well, we just gonna ignore how War Slug can turn giant. I don't believe it. Ugh! Shit, darkness I mean, that's a good move. It's funny how all the coolest things Goku does is not playable in the games, like Fall Super Saiyan and then Super KO Ken. Motherfucker. Namco Bandai, you guys should totally hire me on for ideas because I can give you so much cool shit. Or whoever is making the Dragon Ball Z game. I think it was Spike. No, he was banished from Namek because he was a crazy asshole. He's a super Namek. He doesn't seem to be holding up too well against Goku, though, who's not even Super Saiyan. We don't really ever stat. Oh, the cool. That's a cool power up effect. What's wrong? Are you afraid of my true form? Well, they're big. That's about. However, Piccolo did this back in Dragon Ball as well. I know that much about Dragon Ball. I know he could turn giant. Shit. Alright. KO Ken time. Ah, shit. No. I, I want to find a build for a Goku early that actually takes full advantage of KO Ken because I know it's really good. Like it's a free energy restoration and it gives you gives you a massive boost. Do I have infinite energy? No. 
I should probably go KO Kenny after I got, after I got max power mode though. Ow. That was a weird launcher. He stuck his hand like in the middle of nowhere. Come on. Ah, shit. I do have enough to go max power mode. Ah, shit. Oh, never mind. He got, ener he got energy drain. Cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Now it's time to party. Oh, fuck. I don't have time for any of your shit right now, Krillin. Oh my god, this is cool. Yeah, I should really take advantage, find ways to take full advantage of KO Ken, because this is really cool. I think KO Ken was actually relatively useless back at 10k H2, but now it's got like a huge buff. It's got an MBR rest, because it's not going to last us longer. And no. Okay. Uh, the only way I'm, hit, I'm actually going to be able to hurt this guy if he just ass slammed through that fucking building down there. That's you, motherfucker. Mr. Energy Drain is not hurting me. Where do I come up with these fucking voices? Nope. Ah, there we go. Ah. There we go. Alright, two. Ah, you only go for two. Close enough. I want to use the spirit bomb because that's how I die in the, sh in the movie, but I guess that works too. Uh oh. Taxi! Did it. Goku. Daddy! Yes. Called it. Well done, Goku. The super we never define how strong a Super Namek actually oh. is, do we? Because if this is what Super Namek actually is, then fucking Piccolo will be in Super Namek after he fused with Nail. Was it considered Super Namek after he did that, though? No. It was after if he was a comma, he was considered super dynamic. Then again, this movie's not technically canon. Again, it's like Tree of Might uh, in, Doc in uh, World Strongest. Technically couldn't happen in the show because, again, Goku's on Earth with only access to K.O. Ken and Piccolo's around. Yeah. Actually, i got to put this out right now. Uh, when you're on the start screen, pick uh, right before you select it. You'll show me lots of fights, won't you? Says this. Here, Namekian slugs are weak against the sound of whistling. Okay, there's two things wrong with the statement. One, what the fuck's in the Namekian slug? I thought Namek's were basically slugs. Two, uh, the sound of whistling has nothing to do with the fight we just had. Okay. It looks like Garlic Jr.'s come back. Didn't we seal him up? Well, it kind of actually knocked him, his own ass into the dead zone. Oh. Garlic Jr. Now, as cool as the term dead zone sounds, Goku no, it's not really that cool. It's just a black hole. Has turned all of humanity into demons. Okay, to be fair, that arc, that filler arc did kind of scare me as a kid because everyone was just turning into like crazy vampires. I was a pussy as a kid. Yeah, Garlic Jr. is actually cool to Garlic Jr. because he's the only Dragon Ball Z villain or only Dragon Ball Z character, period, who actually wishes for immortality and actually manages to pull it off. But uh, base form is kind of like this. Wow, someone's preaching the choir with that one. Which will be first? Will he succumb, or will I destroy you? Well, find out, bitch. Huh. Unfortunately, I'm not a coward like you. I don't fear death. Looks like I'm playing as Pickle early. Am I able to tell it's difference now because of the fucking stance? Make you regret becoming immortal. That's a good statement. No, it's never explained what the hell the Macchio Star actually is. The more powerful I will become. Or how he gets power from it. Or how he escaped the dead zone because of it. Uh, this wasn't the best written filler arc, even though it was pretty coolly executed. It's got like a regular Naruto filler arc. It's really cool, it's really pretty, shit happens, but... Eh, not much context. Okay, I, I retract that previous statement. Uh, only some of Naruto filler arcs are actually pretty cool. Uh, okay, Bleach filler arcs. Those things are actually, that shit is actually pretty cool. I'm sure I'm brand new agree with me. I do think a lot of Bleach arcs are pretty cool. Especially the filler ones. Damn, Dark Side Lightning, you fucking bitch. 
There we go. Now it's a party. Oh, ooh. here's a cool combo. And Krillin's singing in the silence, assuming he can match me in skill. <laughs> sure. Alright. I love Max Power's Infinite Energy because I can just do that. Cold as much deuces as I want, and no repercussion to me. Okay, that works. Hey, combo reset. I like that. 